happy Thursday viewers and my word that's a moon ball and a half we're back here again with the uh, Codgers cricket and this is Surrey over 60s brackets 4th 11 versus Essex over 60s Essex are batting they're 60 for none and I think it's the 12th over um, and oh my word it's carrying on some marvellous stuff going on here energetic chase there one hand pick up throw brilliant see if we can get it a bit higher this time and I think he has and that's a uh, fourth ball and that's gone for four yes Essex rattling up a fair old score here oh well bold bit of extra bounce of course as it's coming down from such a huge height oh that's got to go but who's there? It's the people's champion. Derek Del Rushforth. Not quite a double teapot, but uh, I think he's warming up for one. Cheer up, Del, it might never happen. I think it already has. Apologies for being a few minutes late today, viewers. Um, oh, I'm having to clean the lines out. You know, the pipes that bring the beer from the cool room to the taps. It's got to be done. Jalen's the bar manager, but he's at the Oval sorting out the ground for the 100, which I have to say looks absolutely magnificent. And my old first team mate from 30-odd years ago, Keith Haynes, bowling up the hill. That uh, immaculate length. Beautiful. Oh, that's a nice shot. That's coming down to me. I'll just stop that. Oh, that's really gone up. Oh, he smacked that. That's gone for a... Yes, yeah, a big six lands on top of the old, uh, what do we call it? Beautiful shot. Oh, and he's got a 50. Splendid. Score moves into the 80s now. I was just thinking, viewers, if this is Essex over 60s, fourth 11. Oh, with shots like that, another six. What do you think the first 11 are like? Must be absolutely magnificent. Fan favourite, Fred here. We'll see if we can have a word with Fred at tea time or after the game. Ooh, no, that's gone. Ooh, that's uh, one bounce here to Fred, I imagine. Oh dear, oh dear, poor old Fred. Let's it go, and why not? Well, 100 up, 16 overs gone. Could be a big one, 45 over these games. Change of bowling. Oh, hello. Oh, just dropping out of reach of Hainsey. I don't think it would have mattered if it was in reach of him, actually. Tell you what, viewers, I've noticed something with this new bowler. He's got a... There we go, look at that. He's had a bowler's trigger movement. Oh, take another look at this. There we go. It's like a little curtsy. But, you know, it's helping. Now we're right next to a school here viewers and it's uh, lunch break so apologies for any bad language you might hear. That's a nice shot. Ooh. Fred's after that. Pretty nippy for 83. Look at that arm. Kids singing dirty songs now. Bloody hooligans. Oh, we're bold. Oh, great boot work. Oh. Cool, if that stuck, that would have been absolutely spectacular. There we go. Score at drinks with the wonderful. Hacky Senior sitting there polishing his glasses. The score's rattling on a bit now. As we as we film it, it's going up. Yes, yeah, so I just missed a few overs there, viewers. The chap that had a 50 has now got a hundred and he's retired. Um, and I was yeah cleaning the line, so these chaps have got a decent beer later. It's uh, it's going to be well needed. Um, I was in pretty much constant communication with Jalen, who is looking after the oval whilst the 100 is being prepared for for tonight. 
But uh, what's happening? That's happening. Here's the complete opposite of the hundred, I would imagine. It's a little bit more traditional, a little bit more gentle. Oh, the Kurtz is still going. Oh, just thinking, viewers, if we added up the ages of all these fine gentlemen here, um, put them end to end, and we'd have about a 1500 years. So that would take us back, oh, a fine effort, that would take us back to the year 520, which was a leap year. Now, uh, oh, that's a good old white, but he misses it. Yeah, so what happened in the year 520? Well, King Pabo Post Pridian of the Pennines abdicates his throne and divides the kingdom between his two sons. He retires as a hermit to Anglesey. Well, and why not? Interesting one. East Anglia is formed as a kingdom. Um, and these chaps from Essex, I guess that's almost East Anglia. Probably not quite. And also in that year, young Fred here made his debut for the Barbados Colts as a talented young young teenager and you could almost hear the beautiful sound of silence as the kids have gone back into school no. well it feels like another thousand years have passed and Essex are still batting um, 198 for one um, plus one retired and there's Nine overs, or nine overs left after this one. Fred told me rather optimistically, I feel, that uh, he felt that Essex would probably get about 220. He might be right. Lovely flighted ball. Oh, and that's just out of reach. As I think on most things. Just having a little chat with the Essex lads, saying that uh, we believe that Sandersted is the, uh, the highest cricket ground in Greater London. Um, and they sort of thought, well, you know, what about... Oh, lovely work there from Hainsey, the old trusty right boot. What about Havering Atterbauer? I know that's in Essex. So anyone from Havering Atterbauer? What's the height of your ground? And any, anyone else know of any... What are the highest grounds near you? Highest grounds in your counties? And how, how high they are? Let's see if we can find the highest ground in the country. I don't think that'll be Sandersted by any stretch. Must be something, uh, there's not Fred there. Passing to not not Fred. Yeah, there must be something up in the Pennines. There we go. Well, five overs to go. Is this the big charge? Doesn't quite look like it, does it, viewers? Well, and with nine wickets in hand and having to compete with the 100 for your attention viewers, I would have thought Essex would be, would be trying to rattle the score along even more. They're looking for two, not Fred, he's got a good arm, but... Oh, a direct hit would have been gone. They start to feel it in the heat. 2.28, three overs left and uh, the opening quick's back on. Oh, well bold. That's good bowling here from Surrey. It's difficult to tell whether Essex are getting frustrated or whether I'm confusing them with someone who could give a damn. Oh, lovely day like today, really. I mean, who could blame them? Oh, that's better. That's more like it. Poor ball and given what it deserves. Last couple, 2.28. Oh, that's in the air, chipped over the infield. Should just be one. And it is. Huge grunt there, accompanied that throw in. Oh, that's... Oh, 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 straight at him, and that's beautifully taken. Absolutely magnificent catch off a, off a dreadful ball from Keith, but... Uh, but they all count. Fantastic. Dilo herring in. Come on, get that arm out. Boom. Well, super stuff. 
And that's it. Well played, well back is Essex. And well fielded, sorry, well stuck at it in the heat. Not easy. Tapping off the skipper there, Ronaldo. Fred. Yeah, a little thumbs up from Fred, he's feeling confident. Well, after a fabulous tea break, um, everyone's had a cool down and uh, a slice or two of Mrs. Allen's lovely homemade cake. There's a nice chocolate cake and a Victoria sponge. Absolutely splendid. And Surrey chasing the unlikely target of 246 to win on nine for one. This, I believe, is the fifth over. A little bit of wobble there. And the lines have been beautifully cleaned and the, the beer, the lager, everything is flowing quite wonderfully. So these chaps can have a, some splendid refreshment at the end of the game. And why not? Well, that was my first attempt at cleaning the lines um, solo, but a uh, little bit of remote control help from, that's a lovely shot, from, from Jallon, who is uh, well, he's masterminding events at the Oval. So if you watch the 100 tonight, obviously you won't see this until, what is it, it's Thursday. So the, the first men's game at the Oval. Yeah, uh, then yeah, uh, Jallon's been not only masterminding how wonderful it looks, but also helping me clean the lines, which I, I honestly believe is a little bit more important. But hey ho. So in the same way that this uh, this game has a sort of loose connection um, via combined ages with the, with the creation, the formation of East Anglia in the sixth century, it also has a connection with uh, between the, the, this most traditional form of cricket and indeed the latest, most modern form of cricket, the 100. There you go. Interesting facts brought to you by Sonsted CCTV uh, at the old sawmill. Oh, that's gone. That's gone. Lovely bit of stumping. Was that Will Davis? That's two down now. Ah, oh, this is what. This is what everyone's been waiting for. The latest Black Knight Bat Ambassador, Derek, double teapot Dell, rush forth, strides out to the crease with huge purpose. Very little ability, but a determination. And you know, he has scored runs at this sort of cricket. Got an 80 odd once. We'll need more than that today. Come on, Dell, you can do it. Guard safely marked. Another little scrape. For whatever reason. Oh, interesting diagonal. We'll have a little look around the field, see that everyone is. Everyone's round the bat, really. They must have seen him play before. Look at that. Look at that. It's a very aggressive field. And there he goes. He's got the dab. That's his trademark dab shot. Scores loads of runs with that. He's off the mark, fabulous. Oh, lovely little bit of late swing there. This bowler's definitely been around the block, hasn't he? Oh, lovely shot. Picked up off his toes. Should be two here, Dell's quite sprightly. I think it's only in an over 60s game where I can say that. Oh, Dell's going to get two here. Oh. Leaves it with his hand and lets it hit his foot. It's a good technique. Dell goes over the top and and he's caught. I mean, he's got 45 overs here, 40 overs here, and he's gone gone for it quite early, I suppose. Well, there he goes. Oh, he's got something to moan about now. Where's the bat? 
little Dell Yodel there. Right in the slot, he says. Oh, well, could that be another? Oh, he's dropped him. That's a sorry scoreboard. For Surrey. 19 for 3 off 8. Oh, poor ball. <laughs> so, yeah, here we are, and um, Surrey on the ropes again. Like, yeah. a, like a punch drunk boxer. We're, we're battered around the ring reg regularly. <laughs> Um, they mix and match. Sorry, that's Ronaldo on the scoreboard. I know, I, know. I mean, what's he doing? Well, he's, he's old well, and no, stupid. Are you from there, he, mate? he hasn't got a clue. <laughs> are you having from there? Well, he's got a new nickname today, Yogi Bear, because oh, of his tie. <laughs> it's like oh, Yogi. That's, that is oh, that's gone straight up in the air. But who's anyone going for it? No, no. no. Well, like, <laughs> after you, after you, <laughs> love it. I'll go. It's a good double, double teapot, teapot, though. Yeah, teapot. yeah. Oh, a double teapot. Oh, it's the name. With the sun. It's a, it's a very, long. very long-lasting double teapot. <laughs> a double teapot with the sun blazing. Oh, he's given him. That looked a long way forward. But hey ho. I think the umpires know that the lines are being cleaned, and there's some prime pilgrim quench on offer. Well, that scoreboard doesn't get any healthier, does it? But we've got Fred batting now, age 83. Lovely. Ooh, Fred. Well, he's having a go at everything, Fred. I think he wants to go for the win. Oh, nice. Well struck by Fred, but well caught there in the cover. Unlucky, that's uh, whatever it is, 55 for five. Hello, he's gone for the reverse. You'll get all that in the 100 later. A bit of nasty looking left arm overs, come on. Pardon the phrase viewers, but uh, this might be their death bowler. Tell you what, who needs the hundred when you've got this? Well, that's a nice shot. That's going to be a bomb bounce into the silage heap. Oh, and another one. That's even better. That's one bounce into the hedge. Beautiful. Here they are. Not Fred and Fred. What a pair. Ooh, that is a good shot. That's six. More like a nine. Fabulous. Well, viewers, I've got Fred and Dilo with me. Or not Fred. Chaps, Fred first. What do you think? You think we've got a chance here? Very, very, very slim. Probably <laughs> 25%. 25? How much is that? Yeah. <laughs> Optimistic. Yeah, yeah. It's an optimistic 25. Absolutely, but uh, there's a consolation prize because... Uh, I've cleaned all the lines today, so the beer's going to be really good. Oh, we need something yes. to cheer us up. Absolutely, absolutely. Oh, that could be out. Yeah, he... he yeah, yes. He caught Derek out as well, didn't he? Pity, pity. He was uh, striking it well. Yeah, he should that one. slicey, is he? Yeah, a bit slicey. Oh, well, what's that? That's six down now. Down. 68. Still, we can. No return. Yeah. You're still keeping that 25, Fred? <laughs> no, that's that, 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 just, just not 15. <laughs> just gone down to 15 percent now. I tell you, you're such an optimistic <laughs> guy. Well, that's good. That's good. Percent. Yeah. Yeah. 15 percent. We've only got well, to get with, what 100. With this, with this man, yeah. Jagu is going to do it. No. Jagu, that's his name, is it? Jagu. Jagu. Excellent. Where, where's Jagu Shah? Very good. Oh. Cake. Biscuit, cake, biscuit. Regular viewers will know exactly what I'm talking about there. Comment below if you get it. And then one's coming your so Dell, I've just had Fred and and not Fred here, and <laughs> Fred's chances of us winning this game dropped from 25% to 5%, Dustin, <laughs> in in, in, a, in about a minute. High. Well, that's what I said. <laughs> that, that, that's what I said. And uh, not not Fred or or <laughs> Delo said uh, you're all so optimistic, Fred. <laughs> Which is a, a lovely way to be. They're a fine pair of men, those. Well, oh, absolutely. Oh, Dino's fantastic. 
Oh, look at that big old wipe. He was a, he was a big surgeon, was do you know? Oh, was he? Mm. Was he? Who retired? Yeah. Oh. Shot. Shot. Well, that's a tremendous shot. One bounce oh, four. Right, I got Johnny with me. Johnny, are you looking forward to playing in this type of cricket? I think you've got about another 37 years. Oh, really looking forward to it. Um, might get yeah. some runs. Might get some runs. Uh, <laughs> helicopter on this could be interesting. Though. It could. It could. I'm trying to teach Dell, but he's still not having any of it. <laughs> what is a helicopter? Can you explain it to me? Well, whilst, whilst, yeah, whilst Johnny does that. So, Johnny, as one of the younger generation, what do you think about the 100, mate? Um, I've kind of got a neutral view. Oh, oh, oh should, I should have gone into the car park, shouldn't it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is why we need to teach players how to hit big at a young age, and this is what the 100 is for. No, uh, I've, yeah, <laughs> well done, Johnny. I've that got a good. Um, <laughs> nice neutral view. I, th I think this year, with all the players kind of and COVID dropping out, it's... Um, going to be hard but well, I did do my disso on it did you yeah so I, ah. I, I, I gave it the neutral uh, it could work but at the same time all the money and stuff it might not work but we'll, we'll see you it's a long month ahead and so nice to see you coming off the fence there Johnny it, it <laughs> might work it might not that's <laughs> brilliant I, I hope it works but god the students of today did you pass your exam on it uh, yeah actually I got, oh, I got so a nice T1 so in yeah. it yeah yeah, yeah who does it got you a qualification it got me Splendid. a qualification especially when it got cancelled the day I had to put it in so I had to change the last day it was changing mm. it. see I, I don't know what to think I'm going to I'm actually going to go and watch tonight oh, <laughs> I'm actually going to watch tonight uh, a, a, a little bit later probably the second half because because I think, I believe that you can't really, you can't really slag something off if you haven't seen it. Yeah, I agree. Um, and boy, once you've seen it, then you can go mad. But but if you haven't seen it, I just don't think, well, any slagging off you have is, in my view, is invalid. Yeah. We... Um, but if you watched it and you slag it off, then fine. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's... <laughs> Shot! Take you out. Oh, he's out by, well... About three miles? Yeah, out yeah. by a long way. Thanks, Dad, he's seven down off. now. non is not even back yet as well. <laughs> <laughs> that is a lovely shot, and that's well well fielded with his left boot. <laughs> Which is quite popular, Dell, the, uh, the, the use of the boot. Yeah, well, it's part of the equipment. The, the big problem is... Oh, that's a lovely shot. Nicely smoked. Ah, that's gone for four. Because they have a right to play in it. Ah, oh, that's a fantastic oh, appeal. That that is an appeal. It's magnificent. I would have given that out. <laughs> no, Just no, on man. on sheer fear. <laughs> well, viewers, I still can't get over that appeal. That's better than any cricket that's been played today. I think. <laughs> that's so fantastic. The way he broke it up and had to take breath. I think that's why the ICA doesn't attract me because I don't know who's going to get you. That was an amazing and lovely appeal. How was that one? That's a nice shot. Well, that's all Charles attacked it. We're going to have to sanitise it. Ah, Patrick's turned up. Patrick, what's the score in the 100 match, mate? I have no knowledge and I have no intention of finding out. Thank you. <laughs> Who are you supporting in the 100, Adam? Uh, I'm supporting the, the environment. <laughs> well, that is a nice shot. That's four runs all the way. Oh, and that's Ronaldo goes to one on the leg side and it's bold. Came off, I don't know, pad, other pad, whatever. He's gone, that's eight down now, it's 110. Sorry, have absolutely zero chance now um, if we're in this game. I think if you're Fred, you're probably down to one or two percent. Uh, something like seven overs left to get 130. It just isn't. Uh, I don't think there's anything left to even entertain us. But we will plough on. Who says the hundreds are a load of rubbish? There we go, Del Tallion and the three must get beers. 
So too many to win off too few overs with only two wickets in hand. What a thrilling prospect it is. Ooh. Height no ball. Oh, well picked up. Ah, straight over the top. Save them. Oh, that's a nice hit. Couple of bounces and a roll. Lovely. Yep. Nice stick. Usually runs away down there. Not bad it. Oh, that's a 50. Well batted, sir. Good 50. Missed a couple of his uh, more lusty blows. Super knock. So, come on, Andy. About 100 to win off three overs, and he's got caught and bowled. Super little knock, that. Well batted, sir. Generous applause for Andy there. Not oh, batted. Keith Haynes. How many times has he come out and batted at this ground? Over what, 47 years? Something like that. So Keith has the club record for the most number of ducks in Sanderset's history. I think it's 96 or 97. Just three short of his ton, ironically. This wouldn't count as a Sanderstead duck, should it be one? I don't think it will be. Lovely, look at that. So 99 to win, one over. There we go, that's it. A slap of the pad there. So, well played Essex, they won by uh, 98 runs or something like that. Which I think constitutes an absolute stuffing um, but it's a lovely day we enjoyed the cake and, uh, and the sunshine and the comradeship and the joy of the simple things in life and uh, for these chaps still playing cricket well into their 60s some 70s and as far as Fred's concerned 80s The lines are clean and the beer is going to flow and it's going to be wonderful. There we go. Well done everybody, well done the umpires, yeah look at that, little and large.